So in the previous video for the curve track, we created this drawing here. Uh, in the meantime, while I was off screen, I rearranged my uh, dimensions so you can see them a little bit more clearly. Uh, so if you'd still need to continue to build that part, uh, please do so. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is in this sketch is I'm gonna come up here to my line tool. I'm gonna go to this center point and I'm just not on the actual center point, my line tool. And I'm gonna draw a length of line called five inches going vertical. Now I'm gonna click on my construction line. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna turn that length of line into a construction line. Now I'm gonna click on my revolve button and I'm gonna choose this face of the sketch and where do I wanna revolve around? Well, I wanna revolve around that center line that I made my construction line. And you can see we have a nice circular track. Uh, but that's not what this project calls for. So what I want to end up doing on this is I don't want a full revolution. I want one in, in one direction and the length of track that I want is 45 degrees. So what you can see now is I have that piece of track that'll go with my straight track, but we're still missing our male and our female ends on it. Now we're gonna follow the same process. So I'm gonna go to my top here. I'm gonna lay a sketch down on my top. Uh, as we did on the straight track. So my, I have my center point there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my circle. I'm gonna find that center point of that track right there. I'm gonna go above it and I'm gonna draw that 1.4 inch circle. Oh. Back and edit that 1.4 inch circle. Now I need to dimension those away from each other. So the center point there to the center point of my circle needs to be one inch away. So I'm gonna review on my top and we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna come down here. I'm gonna draw a 0.5 inch line. 0.5 inch line. I'm gonna escape that tool and come back here and draw that same 0.5 inch line. So I'm going to come over here and dimension from this point to here we know is 0.3 inches. And this point to here is 0.3 inches as well. I'm gonna grab my scissors so I can do the trimming. I can trim the end of this line, the end of this line, and the uh, center point there. And then what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna come up to my extrusion and I'm going to extrude this direction uh, flipped here and I want to do it as an existing portion of that part. So what you can see now is I have that male end done. 